Hey everybody, it's Nathan here, and welcome to day number 35 of the Sonnet Challenge. You can find all the sonnets at sonnetchallenge.blogspot.com. And today we have sonnet number 92. Uh, really quickly, uh, a quick diversion. I don't know if you can tell, but the lemon tree behind me is turning into a monstrosity. It's really, I don't know what, like, the shape it's taken on is, is like something out of some sort of mythic book. But, um, so that's the backdrop. But anyway, moving on to the sonnet. Uh, number 92 uh, deals with this kind of um, defensive and subtly kind of deceptive reasoning against uh, this demise of love. And uh, uh, the poet feels like the beloved's unfaithfulness is uh, pretty much like a foregone conclusion. So that's where he's operating from. There's definitely a tinge of I don't know if it's bitterness or anger, um, but uh, really interesting. You know, these these sonnets for me are the interesting ones to find because we all know a lot of the sonnets deal with love and how wonderful love is and how much he loves the youth and all that. So for me, it's really cool to find these sonnets that really deal with these darker colors of uh, relationships and love. So without further ado, let's uh, try out number 92. I didn't mean for that to rhyme, but it did. But do thy worst to steal thyself away. For term of life thou art assured mine, and life no longer than thy love will stay, for it depends upon that love of thine. Then need I not to fear the worst of wrongs, when in the least of them my life hath end. I see a better state to me belongs than that which on thy humor doth depend. Thou canst not vex me with inconstant mind, since that my life on thy revolt doth lie. Oh, what a happy title do I find, happy to have thy love, happy to die. But what's so blessed fair that fears no blot? Thou mayest be false, and yet I know it not. Really, really interesting um, language in there. And uh, particularly with that last line, thou mayest be false, that could be uh, he is, has been, or will be rejected. It's really interesting that that language covers all three periods of time, past, present, and future. So, um, yeah, some really dark stuff in there, but interesting to work on. I'm still learning about it. Uh, and you know, trying to pick out what I can. I would love to hear you, uh, your feedback. What did you like? What did you not? What did you understand and what did you not? And then feel free to take number 92 and run with it. Have fun, make it yours. And I look forward to learning more. So uh, that's it for number 92. Again, you can go to sonnetchallenge.blogspot.com for all the sonnets that we've done up to this point. And uh, until next time.